Ivo Hughes' terrific outing. Ivo Hugh was excited. It was the day after his naming ceremony and he was eager to start work. Can I go out and do some work already? He asked the workman. Renaeus came alongside. Easy does it, Ivo. You still need to be checked over before you start. All in good time, he chuckled. Soon, Ivo Hugh's fire was lit and he chuffed around the yard. He was performing well and the workmen were pleased. Nearby, Peter Sam was shunting. Morning, Peter Sam! He shouted eagerly. What are you doing? Oh! exclaimed Peter Sam. Hello, Ivo you. I'm just about to take some trucks to the quarry and... Would you like some help? I could shun them for you. Continued Ivo. Peter Sam wasn't sure. Well... He began, but he noticed the young engine's eager expression. I, I suppose so, as long as the workmen don't mind. Ivo, he was thrilled, and he set off roughly bumping the trucks into line. Has he ever shunted trucks before? frowned Henry nearby. No, replied Peter Sam nervously as a wagon flew past them. He's not even in service yet. Peter Sam was soon on his way up the line, but Cora wasn't happy. What were you playing at back there? You didn't need help arranging this lot. I know, sighed Peter Sam, but he was just so eager to start work. I couldn't say no to him. Fair enough. But tell him to be careful next time. He nearly shunted me to the wall. Peter Sam gulped and knew the old van was right. Later that day, it was Peter Sam's turn to take the final train. Ivo Hugh watched him getting ready. Oh my, that's a lot of coaches, he exclaimed. Peter Sam chuckled. Well, we do have a lot of passengers. The last train of the day is always packed and... Could I help you with it then? Interrupted Ivo. Peter Sam winced. He knew he had thrown himself into this one. What's more, the passengers overheard and cheered at the idea of having the new engine on their train. Well, his safety checks are complete and he's due for a test run, pondered Ivo's driver. The station master smiled. Splendid. I see no harm in it then. You don't mind bringing him along, do you, Peter Sam? No, not at all, sir, replied Peter Sam meekly. As Ivo Hugh coupled in front of him with a bump, the older engine did his best to look as happy as everyone else. This is lovely, cheered Ivo Hugh as the two engines travelled up the line. I'm glad I could come with you, he shouted to Peter Sam. It's such a lovely evening too. Yes, oh, it is, panted Peter Sam wearily. Ivo Hugh was bursting with energy and Peter Sam found it hard to keep up with him. As they began to climb the hill, Rusty and the work train waited to let them pass by. I didn't think Ivo Hugh would be in passenger trains already, exclaimed Rusty. Well, he should be alright if he's with company, agreed the signalman nearby. Though poor Peter Sam looks like he's trying to control a dog on a lead. <laughs> at last, the engines arrived at the top station. They were uncoupled, and Peter Sam puffed wearily over to the water tower. But Ivo Hugh wasn't interested in water. A strange red van on the loop caught his attention. What's that? he asked. It's the refreshment lady's tea van, replied Peter Sam. We'll be taking it home with us soon. But Ivo Hugh had an idea. I'll couple it up now, he thought. Peter Sam will be pleased. He crossed over the points and ran quickly towards the van. Too quickly. Be careful with my tea van, frowned the refreshment lady. Stop, Ivo, called Peter Sam, but it was too late. Ivo hit the tea van, and the resulting jolt sent the tea van rolling away down the line. Oh, sorry. Don't worry, I'll get it. Stay where you are, Ivo, Peter Sam said firmly. I'm sorry, but please let Rusty handle this. Peter Sam was right. At the bottom of the hill, Rusty was about to set off when the signalman called out to him. Wait there, Rusty! Runaway tea van heading this way! He cried. What is it? Oh, never mind! exclaimed Rusty. He backed up, and the signalman set the points into the siding. The tea van rattled into view, but they didn't realize how fast it was going. It swerved into the siding, flew off the rails, and crashed into the workman's shed. Our tool shed! groaned the workman. Beautiful divan! 
rapped the refreshment lady at the sheds that evening. Mr. Percival, I would appreciate it if your engines didn't go around treating my T-Van like a bumper car. She finished angrily and marched off. Yes, mother, sighed the thin controller. He then turned to his two engines. She does have a point. What happened up there? I was too rough with the T-Van. I'm very sorry, sir, ventured Ivo Hugh sadly. About that, frowned the thin controller. He looked at Peter Sam. Why was our new engine gallivanting up the line with you in the first place? He wanted to come with me, sir, began Peter Sam. He looked at Ivo. I remember what it's like to be stuck in the yard. That's why I didn't want to say no to you, Ivo Hugh. Ivo Hugh smiled, as did the thin controller. I appreciate the honesty, Peter Sam. Though next time, please ask me first. You still have a lot to learn, Ivo. But don't worry, we'll all help you settle in, said Scarlowy nearby. The thin controller smiled. Glad to hear it, Scarlowy. For starters, I would like one of you specifically to show Ivo Hugh how to shunt properly. He glanced at Peter Sam, who laughed sheepishly. Well, go on then. Tell us what happened with the refreshment lady's tea van, chuckled Reneus, once the thin controller had left. Yes, added Scarlowy. You might as well spill the tea for us as well. <laughs> Everyone laughed, including Ivo Hugh and Peter Sam. They knew they wouldn't be forgetting the day's events anytime soon. The T-Van rattled into view, but they didn't realise how fast it was going. It swerved into the siding, flew off the rails, 